हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड प्री एम्फेसिस एंड डी एम्फेसिस इन फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन प्री एम्फेसिस एंड डी एम्फेसिस आर कॉमनली यूज्ड इन एफ एम ट्रांसमीटर एंड एफ एम रिसीवर टू इम्प्रूव द थ्रेश होल्ड सो at fm transmitter we'll be using pre emphasis and at fm receiver we'll be using de emphasis pre emphasis and de emphasis are simple rc network that are used to improve threshold up to 13 to 16 db first let us understand pre emphasis figure 1 shows the use of pre emphasis filter in fm transmitter so in an fm transmitter before fm modulator the pre emphasis filter will be used so transfer function of this pre emphasis filter will be h pre of f so this pre emphasis filter will be used before fm modulator figure 2 shows pre emphasis filter circuit diagram with frequency response so here this is the simple rc network that is used as pre emphasis and this is the frequency response of the pre emphasis so from this frequency response we can understand that this pre emphasis filter will be acting as a high pass filter so we can say the pre emphasis circuit is high pass filter with transfer function as shown in the figure 2 to improve the signal to noise ratio at fm modulator output the high frequency component of message signals are emphasized at transmitter so the high frequency components of message signal will be emphasized at transmitter to improve the signal to noise ratio of output at fm modulator so after pre emphasis the message signal m of t will occupy entire range of bandwidth so after pre emphasis the message signal will occupy entire range of bandwidth now let us understand de emphasis figure 3 shows fm receiver with de emphasis filter so at the fm receiver the de emphasis filter will be used after fm demodulator so after demodulation of the signal the de emphasis filter will be used so that we can obtain de emphasized output signal figure 4 shows the de emphasis filter circuit diagram and its frequency response so again the de emphasis circuit is a simple rc network and the frequency response is shown in figure b which shows that the de emphasis circuit will be acting as a low pass filter which means the high frequency components at the output of demodulator are de emphasized to restore the original message signal so since de emphasis circuit is acting as a low pass filter the demodulator output will be de emphasized to restore the original message signal so due to de emphasis high frequency components of noise is also reduced which increases the signal to noise ratio of output figure 5 shows the effect of de emphasis filter on output noise so figure a is the output noise spectrum which is increasing towards minus w and plus w so as you can see here the noise is increased at minus w as well as plus w therefore the signal to noise ratio of the output will reduce us before de emphasis so signal to noise ratio of output will be reduced due to noise which is present at minus w and plus w figure b shows the filter response of de emphasis filter so figure b is the filter response of the de emphasis filter and figure c is the noise spectrum after de emphasis where the noise is flat at minus w and plus w as you can see this figure so here the noise is flat at minus w and plus w therefore the signal to noise ratio will increase 
due to de-emphasis filter. So signal to noise ratio of output will increase due to de-emphasis filter because noise will become flat. So initially noise was increasing at minus W and plus W. Due to de-emphasis filter the noise become flat at minus W and plus W. That's why the signal to noise ratio of output will increase. So you need to remember that the pre-emphasis and de-emphasis circuits are used to increase the signal to noise ratio at transmitter before modulation and at receiver after demodulation in FM system. So at the transmitter end we will be using pre-emphasis to increase the signal to noise ratio and at the receiver end we will be using de-emphasis to increase the signal to noise ratio of FM system. This is about pre-emphasis and de-emphasis in FM system. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.